Well, hi, Sharon. Uh, Trey here. We are going to walk through putting a blog post into the Academy. Now, I am going to put a blog up here in the navigation bar, but right now they they live they live right down here in the middle. I think we have the the latest three that pop up. So, what we are going to do is um, just go ahead and add a new one here real quick. You need to sign in, and when you sign in, of course, this is the back end. What I have for this blog entry is the uh, Word document from Rebecca. Of course, website open. And three images that we're going to use. Actually, four images that we're going to use for the blog post. Um, a lot of the imagery, of course, is artistic, but there's there's one piece in there that's kind of important. I'll point that out. So, to do this within WordPress, once you're in the back end, you just go to New, Post. I don't know how much you know about WordPress, but there are posts and there are pages. Pages are like Home, About Me, um, etc. And uh, posts are blog entries. All right. This is our this is our post page. So I will actually go here to grab the title for our post, plunk it in there. Once I have the title in there, I'm just going to save a draft just so it saves. It's me. I'm weird. It's okay. Uh, the next thing I am going to do is just select all from the document copy I like to do this in text um, within within the WordPress editor you have um, you do visual editor or a text editor if you do the visual editor WordPress tries to bring in the styling of the fonts and it doesn't always work out that hot. So we're just going to paste the text in and then take a peek. It's all right here. Take out the title. We already have that. And I'll go back to Rebecca's Word document here and put all the styling and the links in. Uh, cannot be found. Consciously parenting, teleseminars, family app. Just going to take out the hyperlink on that one. Alright, so what I'm looking for here is just text that is italicized or in bold and now that we're in the visual editor just start rolling through and doing that real quick da, da, da. Show, shoulds as uh, control B or right here to bold family of book Um, next thing I'm going to do is just add some imagery in here. To, uh, let me back up here, I'm sorry. Just create a little bit of space here. I'm just going to, I'm going to put an image across the top here. If you go to add media, you can look at the media library of all of the images that are in here so far. 
or you can upload a file, a select a file from your computer. Uh, this one across the top, just from the uh, just from the title, their needs versus ours. This image kind of rings true. Um, click none right here. Link to none. Take this out. Let's change the title. Um, here is the alignment. We can get in and mess with that a little bit more. But the link to none is kind of important. And I'll show you why here in a second. We're going to insert that into the post. So if we can link this image to a different URL or we can leave it to um, when somebody clicks on it and just blows the picture up or just none. So there we go. I'm going to put an image on the right side of this paragraph. Let's add media again. Upload files. Files uploaded right over here. We have, we can push the alignment over to one side or the other. Again, none. Here we can change the size of the image if we want. That's a little too big for me. Um, change the width to 200. The height changes automatically to keep the aspect ratio the same. That feels about right. Got bold. image. We've got a little girl sitting at the beach. big old image in there just kind of uh, <clears throat> just kind of breaks things up okay so it really looks like we've got everything that we need for the blog um, comments we can leave the comments and trackbacks uh, on I'm not gonna put a slider in here don't want to hide the title and so actually, you know, the entry for the blog looks like it's about done. So that's good. Now we need to put it in the category. So let's untick it from un uncategorized and uh, throw it into from Rebecca. We can also use different, different categories if it makes sense. Um, down here we'll add some tags like connection parenting. Um, maybe just connection. Any kind of tags we can put in here. These are important as we grow. Um, usually a half dozen tags or so works, but my dog's barking and I can't really think right now. All right, that's in there. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add a featured image. And the featured image is what's going to show up actually right here. So let's add a feature image. We want this to be rectangular-ish. We'll try this and see what it looks like. I may get back to you on some parameters for a featured image, but let's try that right now. 
Okay, next up, um, social. So this is where we're going to um, tell Facebook what exactly gets posted to Facebook when we link. So Facebook title is the same as our title. And then description is just kind of a snippet. So I usually just take the first paragraph. You can add custom words in here if you like. And then a Facebook image. They're recommending 1200 by 628. We're just gonna let that fly. We've got 500 by 336 should work for them. If it doesn't, um, we can we can come back to this page and upload any image and force it into the 1200 by 628. Um, post options without sidebar. We're not going to worry about any of these things down here. We actually should be ready to roll. Let's click publish. Done. Come back to the home page and refresh. And let's look at our blog entry here. All things being equal, it should push Florence's blog over to the right and keep the welcome blog there. There we go. Our needs versus their needs is there a better way. Now you'll see here that I'm credited as the author. So let's change that real quick. Uh, I don't have it set up to do it from the page. Screen options. Check author. And below the post that should pop up. Oops, sorry. Now. And we can change the author to Rebecca. Click update. Last thing I'm going to do is just copy the URL for this entry, roll over to Facebook, and it shows up exactly as we need it to. Uh, when you post a URL to Facebook, you can actually Put it up there, post. That's it.